こんにちは。So I've destroyed my games room. Game on. So I've got to be, uh, I've got to be careful where I stand at the moment because uh, my games room is. Well, it's not a games room anymore. I've uh, started to pack it away completely now. If you've been following my videos, you'll know that I'm going to redo my games room. Uh, my games room is the smallest room in the entire house. Uh, I live in the UK, and you know we don't typically have huge houses. And in my house, uh, I've been relegated to having the uh, smallest room. Uh, so what I decided to do, I was going to uh, completely take everything out, uh, redecorate it. I'm going to build a load of custom shelving in there, custom storage, so I can really optimize the space that I've got within the room. Well, before I can do that, I need to pack everything away. Now I did do a clear out where I cleaned about half of the room up and put it up in the loft, uh, and now I've got to do the uh, other half, and uh, it's not going well. I've got the rest of the games, or I've got the last of my games over here. A lot of the disc-based stuff here, a lot of the cartridge-based stuff there. So I'm gonna move that out at some point. Boxes, uh, so the console boxes. The thing that's really slowing me down in doing this, right? It should be a really quick job to do it. But the thing that's, oh, the thing that's slowing me down is that every time I go to put something, a, a console away in a box, like, I don't know, the Dreamcast or the Mega Drive or the SNES, I have to put it in all its packaging correctly and make sure it goes back in the right place. Um, a little OCD like that. Uh, and then I come across boxes that are slightly damaged. So I know they're slightly damaged. If we look at this one here, this is the uh, this is the Intellivision box. And it's more than slightly damaged. I mean, it's, it's barely salvageable. And then I spend like hours online trying to look at either can I get a replacement or is there a way of a way of restoring it? So yeah, I spent hours doing that. Uh, and then when I was stacking all the games, uh, look at the covers, going through the manuals, then I'd get out one of the consoles I'd just packed and play a little bit of it. So it's just taking me days and days and days to clear it all up. And then I got like this tangle of wires over here. Let me, let me get a light on that. I just got a ton of stuff. I just got a ton of stuff here. I'm gonna have to chuck some of these cables, I think. I don't even know why I bought this optical cable for. But I got tons of this stuff, chargers, adapters. I got about 400 different cables for the PlayStation, different AV cables for the PlayStation, joy pads. So they've all got to be cleaned up. Um, I've got all the consoles in here. Well, I've got some of the consoles in here. What's that? All right, yeah, there's the Game Boy, the Super NES. The Master System 2, and television. You see the buttons are a bit screwed. I might just have to get a new Intellivision, I think. Uh, or maybe I'll do a kind of restore job on it, but I need to do something with that Intellivision. Uh, we've got some handhelds down here. Playstations, there's a test kit down there, and there's a modded one down there. Uh, we've got things like all these Playstation memory card boxes. And for some reason, only four memory cards. Uh, so I don't know where the rest of those have gone. <laughs> PlayStation 1 memory card stickers. Uh, got a panel here. That needs to go up on the wall. What else have we got? I just got loads of stuff that I need to pack away. Again, I've got the boxes for most of these things. Um, so I'm gonna have to go through the pains of packing those away correctly. I'm just going to unpack them again as well. Once the room's all done, I'm going to unpack them and plug them in again. So maybe I should just bung it all in a box. Maybe I can't do that actually. Uh, toys, you see the kids have been having a field day with my toys down here. Let's turn the light on here. So um, we got we got Disney Infinity figures. This is going to be quite cool. So along this wall here, along this wall here, I'm going to have um, like a row, a glass shelf with a glass front on it with figures, and then there's going to be a row of consoles, so a shelf that holds the uh, consoles, 
and then another row uh, which have a glass front on it uh, with a light inside uh, with figures as well that'll be all the smaller figures will be in there um, and then the shelves are just going to be wide enough to be able to hold the big first four figures one so I'll have those dotted in between the games hopefully um, so yeah I just want to do this video to kind of show you the pain I'm going to be going through in the uh, in the next couple of months uh, I'm having to move I'm having to move my light around as well it's such a mess um, yeah so I thought I'd just put this video together to show you guys uh, the games room how it's going uh, how much of a mess it is uh, and probably over the next month or so my videos might be a little bit irregular um, or they might be more regular as, as I get to uh, do more updates on how the, the room's going but uh, at the moment I won't be able to play anything retro for at least a month while I get while I get the room prepped uh, I need to paint all the walls I need to uh, put a new floor down I've got a carpet in at the moment I don't really like that especially when you walk on it and you've got shelves on it like the shelves move slightly so you need to take up that and then kind of make sure the floorboards are solid down again and then kind of put a nice wooden floor down um, but yeah this is uh, this is where I currently am I've got a lot of the consoles away so over the weekend I took about seven hours to put the consoles away um, I haven't got many of those left I've got PlayStation 3 uh, you see that it's a PlayStation 3 test kit up there with a VR VR headset. Um, just trying to think if there's any other little cool bobbins that are things that I've got lying around. I talk about it, it's all cool. But yeah, so far nothing destroyed. Uh, I've not broken anything as I've started to pack things away. I got a little scratch on the back of my Zelda frame, which I wasn't happy with. So uh, I don't know if you can see that that's disastrous for me so I'm gonna to have to do something just to see if I can repair that um, I wasn't happy about that I was almost mortified by that uh, but everything else seems to be in despite it being a huge mess on the floor I'm very careful not to kind of scratch things against other things it's kind of like well placed rather than dragged and pushed about um, so nothing gets scratched or damaged but you know at this rate maybe give me another three weeks and uh it'll be done if you want some more untidy room video updates then uh click on my little pixel head below and if you actually want to watch some videos about retro video games then why not click on one of these two videos over here